I thought when you know the bench came in, a couple people off the bench got us going. Uh, once we picked it up defensively, got a running game going, did a little bit better. So, uh, New say Bray Holmes got hot that last eight minutes of the first half and pushed the lead up like that. But uh, you know, I thought uh, overall we played hard. We just, you know, it, it just seemed like in the beginning you could tell we hadn't played in a week, and then start of the second half we warned them. And same thing happened, but you know that's why it's great that we have a deep bench and people come in with energy. And most people are going to want to talk about Brea's thirty-nine points. I'm about the one block. Uh, is that pretty much? Well, it's a good thing she got it? that block, Todd, because she messed it up and didn't switch and stand in there, and she was able to run the girl down and block it. So that probably saved her to not coming out of the game at that time, but. Uh, you know, at least she didn't sit there, you know, and worry about it. She hustled back and got the block. You see that a lot in practice. I'm sure she does that quite a bit. Blocks? Blocking shots. Well, she's long. I mean, she's long. And, 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 and really, to be honest with you, she does as, be, uh, as good a job as anybody we have of defending on-ball dribble. So, you know, I think she, because she's long, she cuts them off, and it's hard to see over top of her. It's hard to shoot over top of her. So, you know, she – I, I, again, I've said this all along. Bria's best basketball is ahead of her. I said it last year, and I'm saying it again this year. You know, once she learns the offensive rebound and dribble lower and be able to make some moves and, and, and get into the paint a lot more than what she does right now, then she's going to be hard, uh, really hard to guard. Looks like you guys were trying to force feed the post early. Yeah. Was, that, was that an effort to open up the three-point line? Not really. We was just trying to get Asia going. Mm -hmm. You know, I just felt, you know, we can get Asia going a little bit, and then it seems like everybody gets going a little bit. And that's pretty pretty much my fault. You, it's funny you said that because I said that at halftime to the assistant coaches that some of the stall that we had there wasn't scoring. We were trying to force it into the post instead of running some other stuff. But I was just trying to get Asia going. Once we started – Bringing them off some picks and running some other stuff to kind of open it up. You talked a little bit yesterday about, uh, about Taylor and uh, where she's adapted to the role of coming off the bench. Get somebody else to come in. Oh, yeah. We're ha I mean, you know, I was very happy. Her first shot, thank God, she hit it. Then she could relax a little bit. So, you know, we're you know Taylor has done a great job for us all four years and, and accepted her role this year and has come off the bench and done a great job. And uh, quite frankly, in there used to be her freshman year, I didn't know who she was going to guard. Now I, I, I she can guard any of them. I don't care how quick there is because she knows what we want and angles and that type of stuff. So she's got better every year, and uh, you know that's what we need off the bench. You look at Taylor, Jess Harley again. Even though she didn't score a lot, played great defense, played with energy. Crystal Leary played with energy coming off the bench. I thought Lene Montgomery at times. You know, I, I need to start getting her in there a little bit and, and get her some confidence. So I thought she came in and gave us, you know, some minutes. So we want to we want to continue to develop her because I, I I think Lene Montgomery's got a chance to be really good. She just got to get confidence and get get on the floor. Yeah, I mean, you go to Oklahoma, yeah. And need to say, you know, they play very well at home. Uh, so we'll have our hands full. We're going to have to go up there and play very well to beat them. But, uh, you know, that, that's the way it is in the Big 12. you got to get – now we got to get ready for Oklahoma. So on the road. I think we got two out of the next three on the road here. So we got to – we'll be on the road a little bit. But, you know, that, that's no excuse. we got to go up there and execute do what we do. Kansas State coach was talking about about the 10 minute mark is when the game really mm -hmm. turned. Is it more of you guys flipping a switch or making adjustments? What was it? I don't think it was adjustments as much as we start playing harder. You know, we got energy, got up the lanes, and made them start taking some bad shots, and, 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 and it created some transition points for us on the other end. When we're moving, we're pretty good. When we're playing defense, we're up the lanes and we're cutting off the lanes and blocking out, we're pretty good because we run the floor pretty good and, and, and we, we can attack pretty good. So I think she's exactly right. I thought after the 10-minute mark, now Bria Holmes got hot, don't get me wrong, 
but a lot of those she was spotting up on the three after a good defensive stop, and we pushed it down, and she got some early offense. So, you know, it started on the defensive side.